Hello, my fellow Nigerians. With the move by the Northerners to draft uh, Gula Jonathan into 27 presidential race, what do you feel? Do you think with this plan, with this move, will it work come 2027? Although it's too early to predict or to say about it. But with the present uh, president, at least Tinubu, and the government, <laughs> well, I don't know, but with God, sir, all things are possible. Ex-president, president's uh, confidence, say, to, uh, is, say it's too early to talk about potential error in next election. Emmanuel Ede Ade in Abuja. Political leaders from the north, a region in Nigeria, which holds a huge chunk of uh, Nigerians uh, voting uh, population, are working behind the scenes to convince former President Gulo Jonathan to join the 2027 presidential race. Reliable source told us last night. Sources with the knowledge of the plan said that uh, recent uh, comments by the gov governor of uh, Bauchi State, Bala Mohammed, to the effect that uh, he would not uh, contest the election if Jonathan eventually kills him, said that uh, the governor's statement went beyond just flying a kite. The game plan, it was launched because even clearer following the recent uh, end bad governance nationwide uh, demonstrations, which apparently showed serious uh, discontentment by the voting population in the region with the Bola Tinubu led administration. This day was told that uh, the scheming to pursue, 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 persuade the former Nigerian uh, leader to join the race was already in top gear, even though Jonathan is non committer at the moment. However, when they contacted the former president confidence on the move by Northern leaders, they were hesitant to talk on this matter, but were unanimously that the talk about 2027 was premature at this point. This talk about running or not running is way too early in the scheme of things. The former president is uh, fo focusing on his uh, international assignment and humanitarian works rather than concerned himself with a potential run for president in 2027. At the weekend, the Bauchi governor, Mohammed, said that he will not contest under the People's Democratic Party presidential ticket if the former president decides to run again. But uh, the source stated that uh, the decision to sway Jonathan to agree to throw his uh, hat into the ring went beyond party lines and the affiliations. affiliations. Explaining that uh, if Jonathan decides to participate, then Nigerians will see how party affili affiliation will not be an issue. Mohammed, a minister of the Federal Capital Territory under Jonathan, who spoke after an event organized by a non-governmental organization, Save African Initiative, had urged Jonathan to consider running for the presidency. The governor said the former president has uh, more experience and uh, would do a good job if he had a second mandate to manage the country.
he said, with regards to your call for me to present myself, I'm still contemplating my chances as the leader of the opposition. I know there are good leaders within the People Democratic Party, especially my boss, good luck, Jonathan. I have always said that uh, as long as uh, Jonathan is around, I will not present myself for leadership of this country unless he decides not to run. If we can persuade him to come forward, I will support him with my blood out of modesty. He is still not ready. I hope you will meet him and encourage him to run. He will do a better job because he has the experience. We know the prices of uh, things when, when we know the level of uh, inflation is uh, leadership recruitment was exemplary. We need leaders like him, young people with the energy, foresight and the drive, Mohammed argued. Aside the fact that uh, Jonathan is uh, expected to govern the country for only one term, having done his uh, first term earlier, before his loss to ex-president Mohammed Buhari, the North is also considering that uh, picking Jonathan will be a fair deal. With Tinubu scheduled to end his uh, first sink in Ansorok by May 2027, the political permutation is that uh, if Jonathan decides to contest, the South will have served out its eight years by 2031. Given the unwritten uh, understanding among Nigerian politicians to allow for rotation of the presidency between both regions, Jonathan served as a president from 2010 to 2015 after his then boss, Omar Yaradua, died before conceding defeat to Buhari after the 2015 post. While the last national uh, protest was peaceful in the north, it was largely violent in the north, with some angry demonstrators going beyond the main reason for the action to hoist the flag of a, a foreign country. The violence that uh, followed, many believed, was a blowout from the pent up dissatisfaction with the current uh, government, which they believe is the cause of the current uh, hardship in the land. Tinubu had earlier taken over the rims of uh, power in May 2023, begun a slew of uh, reforms, key among which were the removal of the of fuel uh, subsidy, as well as the devaluation of uh, the Naira, as a result of the margin of the official and the parallel FX windows. These policies have had very harsh economic impact on Nigerians. According to the reliable source, during Jonathan's regime, his government was largely inclusive and addressed issues like the emerging system and the creating initiatives for unemployed youths. The Northern Elite is also said to be discontent with the current uh, administration because of what the source described as the loss of uh, control of uh, the levels of power in the country and uh, the feeling of a uh, palpable uh, helplessness. The region is said to be comfortable with Jonathan because, according to the source, they like and they trust him because they benefited from his uh, government. He maintained that uh, if the Amagerin schools policy had uh, continued, the number of out-of-school uh, children would have uh, reduced by now. They see Jonathan as a safe bet. He added, he stressed, and uh, because of the aftermath of the last national protest, they believe that uh, the All Progressive Congress has 
lost ground across the north. So that is the problem. But tracing this uh, recently, the dean of uh, Borono Elders Forum, Professor Khalifat Dikwa, said, members of the elite in the northern region of uh, the country were unhappy with Tinubu because of uh, his uh, misfit and uh, weak appointees, as well as uh, his uh, anti-people uh, policies. The political analysis who spoke on the national television said the northern elite we are not happy because each of these policies affect the North entirely, he said. Most of the hypothesis are either misfit or weak or to the wrong places. Adding that the appointments by the Tinubu administration were lopsided. Dikwa added that even the southern elite should be annoyed because Nigeria is more than Lagos, describing it as uh, provocative. Some prominent Northerners had also raised eyebrow following the decision of the federal government to relocate some department of the Central Bank of Nigeria and the headquarters of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria from Abuja to Lagos. In trying to refute the narrative, Vice President Kashim Shetima said recently that uh, there was no truth in the claim from some quarters that uh, Tinubu was working against the interests of the North to cripple the region. The Vice President spoke in Kano when he received a federal government's uh, delegation which visited to condole with him on the death of uh, his mother-in-law. Shetima maintained that uh, Tinubu was not against the North. He argued that uh, he, the fact that uh, Tinubu appointed Northerners as the Minister of uh, Defense, the Chief of Defense Staff, and uh, the Chairman of the Police Service Commission, put a lie to the claim that uh, the President was biased against the North. At, the, at an appropriate time, he will lay out first that uh, the President is not against the North, has been championed by some disgruntled elements who always want to cause disaffection, disaffection between government and the citizens. The Vice President said, My people, my people, what do you see to this? It is good for us to do the needful. The government of Bola Amir Tinubu to hear this and change gear and do what the Nigerians want so that we will continue by 2027. But if not, well, the ball is in the court. My people, my people, what do you suggest? In your comment section, comment, write your opinion, subscribe, Share, love, and like. Thank you, and God bless. Amen.